Hi, this is Second Story Garage. I'm Quentin Young here with High Five from Denver. How you guys doing? Good. How you doing? All right. Good. So I saw you guys for the first time a month ago at South by Southwest, yes, and you guys killed it. Um, it was a lot of fun. So what what was that experience like? What did it do for you? Did you get anything out of it? Did you just have a good time or what? I think it did a lot for us. I think it was one of our first shows going out of the state, our first show out of the state actually, and I think it just did a lot for our camaraderie, sticking together and just going down there with the whole business mentality first and then going down there and once we hit the stage, just doing what we have to do musically. Mm -hmm. How did you get down there? Did you drive in a van or something? Oh, that's a touchy subject. <laughs> I, I want to hear about it though. Half the crew drove, the merch and all the equipment while the other half flew. <laughs> so next time, you know, like so does that mean you had to drive? Oh yeah, me and me and Bobby, we drove. Uh, yeah. My brother, uh -huh. who you saw, I waving the, waving the high five, and he drove. And then and John, uh, was John, John, John drove as well. Uh, and the rest of you. <laughs> yeah. I, I flew all of them while they were driving. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think I rode and my that, bike for a week. <laughs> <laughs> now you're rubbing it in. I like the. So uh, you so that that day was a hip hop day. It was Colorado hip hop, mm -hmm. uh, and so you played a set um, that was in between a lot of other Denver hip hop and Colorado hip hop. Did you see any other acts down there that you didn't know or or that stood out? For a you few. Um, one for me was uh, Wasteland Hop, and then we got back to Denver and I saw that they were. Uh, I think they're headlining the Bluebird, so yeah, that was yeah. cool. They're from Fort Collins. Fort I Collins, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wasteland, 3-2, uh, mm -hmm. and um, that was my first time seeing Wheelchair Sports Camp. They're, they're pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, she's awesome, Kayla. Yeah. 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 Went to Lakewood with her. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, you went to like high school with her? Yeah, she was like my home back in the day. No kidding. Yeah, we used to slow gym class, yeah. <laughs> so you, did you, <laughs> did you used to rap together? Uh, I used to battle her. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Who won? Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so no, she did. back. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, that's amazing that your first show out of state was at South by Southwest. Yeah, yeah man, that's yeah. a blessing for sure. Um, so you've got some things coming up. Uh, you have an EP that you're ready to put out here pretty soon. Tell you me do. about that. When is it going to come out? Where can people find it? I guess I'll field that question. <laughs> uh, our projected. I saw Brian look at you. So that's why I did. <laughs> yeah. Our projected date is probably about a month from now. Do you have a name for it yet? We got a few in the works. We have a few names. We have a few. <laughs> we, we need we need that that timeless name that captures what we're doing right now. Right. Still working on still it. Still working on it. Okay. Cool. And so I think the EP will be eight or nine songs. It'll be available iTunes. We'll hopefully have physical copies in the independent record stores around town. Mm -hmm. um, online at our SoundCloud. All of our social media is soundcloud.com backslash high five hip hop or replace that with Instagram, Facebook. Mm -hmm. We're on all of that. You can find us there. But the EP has been, it's been about a, like a year and a half since the last EP came out. Mm -hmm. And so during that time, like we've developed a lot as a crew, we've gotten closer, and so I'm really excited, you know, to be able to show these new tunes to the world. And then, you know, the next obstacle is the next album. Mm -hmm. And we have a tendency to, we write and create songs a lot faster than we record them, so by the time this EP comes out, like we're already, we've got the next one on deck, and we're writing for the one after that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's a good problem to have. Yeah, it's, a good, yeah. it's definitely a good problem. And I think it adds to the dynamic on stage because um, all the loyal fans that we have that come to watch us, like they never know it's not the same show twice ever, mm -hmm. you know, because we have such a huge catalog of what we can do. So literally every time we have a show, it's kind of like picking and choosing. You know, it's kind of nice mm -hmm. to be able to do that. Um, and you have a couple of big shows coming up. Tell us about that. I do. So, uh, May 29th at Cervantes down in Denver will be direct support for Mob Deep. Yeah. That's so, right. shout out to that. Yeah, we got a flyer in the house. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we're also going to be performing at Higher Ground Music Festival this year. I believe we'll be uh, support for uh, someone. Someone. We'll be support for someone. <laughs> I don't want to release any names just yet. Okay. Caught me on that one. <laughs> yeah, I hope. And then we've got Underground Music Showcase. We played mm -hmm. there last year. We hope to be included with it again this year. The organizers of that event are awesome, and they always bring a bunch, yeah, a bunch of dope local hip hop artists and just everyone from the city. It's a 
time to come together and really celebrate what Denver's yeah. doing. Yeah. And then we also like to throw like you know a headliner at some point in the summer, just fan appreciation, get everybody out in their summer clothes, having a good time. Cool. Well, look yeah. for that. Well, uh, one of the other thing about your show at South by was your brother was doing some hype for you, right? He was. And I'm so <laughs> glad that you brought one because he was he was over the railing on the second floor he was, the of the whole venue. Show over 6th Street yeah, like uh -huh, this, uh -huh. and uh, it brought a lot of people in, I think. Yeah. yeah. No, there's people afterwards that I talked to. They're like, we just saw the hand, and we were like, let's go in there. Like, <laughs> the high five Why hands. not? They didn't know where to go, and that <laughs> brought them in. That's, so. I mean, that's some of the backstory with, you know, why we became High Five in the first place. It's just, it's so interactive, you know, like... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can't just walk by me wearing a high five hand and not give me a high five. <laughs> That's right. You know, you don't look like a nice guy at that point. Yeah. So. I think we all had really sore right hands after <laughs> high five for like literally a week straight. <laughs> at, the, I, at a point, it wasn't even about the music. People were just like coming up. This is one of <laughs> That's why it's yeah. a red hand because so much high exactly. five. Exactly. And they were yeah. literally like six feet tall, giant hands in the middle of the street, and every person just bombarding us, high five and us. So it was pretty Yeah, awesome. we had, we had fun down in Austin we you know we spent the time we played that show the other days we spent busking in the street we had our battery powered amp mm -hmm. I think we got shut down by the police mm -hmm. three times <laughs> a few yeah. times we had not a wild permit. house party that we performed at mm -hmm. uh, afterwards party was broken up and somebody spray painted the bathroom <laughs> all right South see these South are the South South stories, stories that I was yeah. like yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> that, was, no, that was a good time uh, there's people on the roof like videotaping what we were doing taking pictures uh, we, we, had a, we, had a, we had a couch right in the front yard uh -huh. and that's you know we were right close to 6th street so there's tons of people walking by and we just, just sat there with the wandering monks came through uh -huh. uh, a bunch of other artists local artists awesome. came through and kicking yeah, with awesome. us down. yeah from Denver right? yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. yeah the the guy's house we stayed at was probably like 10 minutes it's from 6th Street walking. So Shout out to Dominic. We Thank saw all kinds of random <laughs> stuff down there. Awesome. A lot of random celebrities, too. And then a couple of you had to drive home, and a couple of you had to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hey, th that's just, we're going to switch off next time. You know, another good story. We'll drive next time. On the drive home, we'll me and this guy, we stopped at this Italian joint in some podunk Texas town. <laughs> And, or the three of us. That sounds like an oxymoron. Then. <laughs> right. How was it? Uh, it was. I mean, the food was good, but we walked in, you know, wearing our hats and our loud garb, and like they just, they just stopped and stared at us. Like, <laughs> what are you guys here for? And we're like, oh, we just performed at South by. They're like, we don't get your type here. You know what? <laughs> oh yeah. Like. Oh my goodness. It, I mean, it was an experience. It was fun though. Wow. Did you yeah, stay away from that town? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. City Slickers. Well, high five. High five. Uh, Good music. Thank Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Appreciate Thanks for watching. This is Second Story Garage.